The final topic we'll be considering in chapter four is least squares fitting, uh, particularly linear least squares fitting where we're fitting uh, data to a line. This shows up a lot in analytical chemistry when we do calibration curves. Uh, the idea being often we're, we've got a set of data where we know the concentrations, uh, you know, we have a set of standards we prepare, and that forms our x-axis. So these are known concentrations on the x-axis. And then on the y-axis is our response. Uh, so this could be a measurement from a spectrophotometer or a measurement from an uh, electrochemical device. Uh, we'll see a few examples of this in this uh, in this class in, in our labs. But this is a very common occurrence in analytical chemistry. Some of you may already be familiar with least squares fitting, but we want to make sure that we're all uh, all have the same information going in here. Um, now your your textbook goes through the equations for least squares fitting. We're more in this video going to take a more practical approach. Um, we usually won't use those equations. We use um, programs that have already had these equa equations implemented. But we'll just talk about the basic idea here. So the basic idea is we have a bunch of data points, um, these dots here. And what this data should ideally be linear, uh, but of course it will never be exactly linear, right? There'll always be some deviation from a perfect line. And what we want to find is if we have the set of, say, four data points here how do we draw the line that that is closest you know that's closest to all these data points that goes through them and that's the purpose of least squares fitting uh, and essentially what we are doing is we're taking the difference between where this line is and the points here and minimizing these differences now we have positive differences and negative differences so we square these values so that they're all uh, they're all positive and that's where the, and you minimize the square of the differences. And that's where this least squares fitting comes in. Through some calculus, we could go through the math of this, but we're not going to. It's not terribly relevant for this class. We just need to know that there is a way to do this, and it is implemented in spreadsheet programs like Microsoft Excel. So um, we have our, we can find our, our least squares line. Uh, and to do that, we're going to define a slope and an intercept, right? So M and B. And we're going to use a computer program to, to determine these. Uh, so the other thing that we are interested in knowing are what are the errors in these values or uncertainties. Uh, and so that's where the statistics are involved here. There are also equations to describe the uncertainties uh, in these values when we do a least squares fit. Um, Excel also has these, or any other spreadsheet program, has these built in. Uh, so in the next video, we'll look at how we actually take a set of data, do a least squares fit in Excel, and determine these uncertainties.